Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Andy. How you doing? Great. How are you? Not too bad. Now, you just got back from a meeting. Tell me how it went. It went well. I was down at City Hall. We were talking about a new initiative coming to Duluth this spring. Now, can you tell us where we're at right now? Sure. We're in the Tech Village at the Flint Group Duluth office. Awesome. And how long have you been at Flint Group? I have been at Flint Group for 13 years. And uh, we understand you just had a, you have a new role at Flint Group. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. I was named CEO on October 1st. Now, even though you're not new to Flint, let's learn a little bit about you. Now, where are you from? I'm from Moorhead, Minnesota. And uh, where'd you go to school? Went to school at UMD. You got to make sure you straighten out that UMD sign. Yeah, <laughs> uh, now, we heard a rumor you played hockey at UMD. Is that is that correct? That is correct. I graduated in 2002. And did you meet your wife at, at UMD? I did. Who's the better athlete? No question. She is. But could she beat you at a game of golf? No chance. <laughs> What is uh, something you got in trouble for as a kid? Picking on my sister. What is uh, your favorite vacation spot? New York City. And where, okay. is, some, where is somewhere that uh, you've always wanted to go? New Zealand. What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Escargot. Now, do you consider yourself a snappy dresser? Some might say that. <laughs> some in this office might say that. Uh, whiskey or craft beer? Whiskey. Pizza, burger, or walleye? burger. Camping, hiking, biking, or neither? Biking. Coffee, drip or Chemex? Chemex, no question. Now what's the favorite, what's your favorite show to stream or watch? Hmm, good one. Uh, anything documentary. The best concert you've ever been to? Tragically Hip 2002 Grandma Sports Garden. Now what's something not a lot of people know about you? Hmm. My average sleep score is 81. <laughs> now, did you ever think you'd be a CEO? No, I thought I'd be a doctor. What advice would you give to your younger self? Do everything with purpose and passion. Who do you look to in times of struggle? God. Who's your hero? My father. Where does your passion come from? My kids. Now, let's talk about where we are. We're coming to a window here. What do you see outside? That is Canal Park in Duluth in the greatest of the Great Lakes, Lake Superior. What's your favorite thing about living in Duluth? Lake Superior. <laughs> have you ever jumped in the lake? Of course I have. Now, what do you like doing for fun? Uh, taking a sauna. Now, there's a Flint sister office over in Fargo. What's that relationship like about two different offices, two different staffs? Uh, it's great. We have experts in both offices, and any day you'll see work going back and forth and new people working on projects. But what can you say about the employees in your home office of Duluth? They're passionate, great people. What do you look for in a prospective employee? Hmm, initiative, passion, just all around treat people well. What makes Flint unique? It's people. Um, what makes an ideal client? Uh, someone who's looking for a true partnership. Three words to describe Flint. Energetic, exciting, and relentless. Three words to describe Duluth. Beautiful, gray, and cold. Beautiful, gray, and cold. Those are three words that don't normally go together. That's why um, we love Duluth. <laughs> three words to describe yourself. Fun, happy, and committed. What does a regular day look like for you? No such thing. If you could thank a childhood teacher, who would you thank? Mr. Marston, fifth grade. And why? Just the energy and excitement he brought to education every day. What are you most proud of? My family. Who's your best friend? My wife. Now your dad, Roger, has been instrumental in leading the uh, current success of Flint Group. Um, what does it mean to you to be able to take the reins from him and lead this company? I've watched the passion and energy he's put into this place over the last 30 plus years, and I'm excited to take that passion and energy and, and bring it to the next level. Awesome. Well, that's all the time we have. That's been 46 questions with uh, Andy Ryerson. Andy, I bet you got some work to get back to. I do. Awesome. See you later. Thank you.